I found this uh, fairly looking decent HTML template on Smashing Magazine. And uh, let's just take a look at its demo while well, the demo is not working. So let's just download it and see how we can convert this into an ASP.NET um, master page. So I'm just going to download this. And let's take a look at this. I'm going to open it up with Chrome. And here we are. Now let's take a look. I think the best place for our main content to go would be this place right here. And let's fire up Chrome Developer Tools. That's F12. And check out where this div is contained. And it looks like the div is called content. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up Visual Studio, start a new website, we'll call it HTML template. Next thing I want to do is pin the Solution Explorer, switch over to where I extracted the HTML template, select it all and drop it into our solution. And the next thing we want to do is add a new item. It's going to be a master page. Master page that master is fine. And click on add. And then we'll go open up index.html. And we're going to go to the content div and remove everything from it. And I believe it ends here. We'll select all, copy. And then, to make things easier, we're going to paste everything below, below the code that was generated with the second master page. So the first thing we want to do is The next thing we want to do is take the form, form tag, and put it right after the body tag. And then the form tag will add right before the ending body tag. And then we'll take the ASP content placeholder, content placeholder 1, which is where our content is going to go. And we're going to put it inside the content div. Then we'll open up the site.master that was created by, by Visual Studio. And we'll get the code for the navigation menu. We'll copy it over. And we'll paste that right below the navigation menu here. It only has two items in there. And we'll just copy them and paste them a few times to fill up the menu. You could modify it any way you want and we'll remove the UL that's inside the navigation. Then we'll do Control A, Control K, and then F to format all of it correctly. And then we'll remove the HTML that was given us by default and we'll have everything working in order. Now let's add a new item. Set a web form and we'll select the master page. This time we'll select the master page that master. And let's run this. We'll hit OK. And everything is working the way it's supposed to, including the links. Now let's add a grid view just to show you that this stuff works. I'm gonna add a a Northwind database into here. We'll open it up. We'll go into design mode. We'll open up the tables and we'll select categories and drag it onto our content placeholder. And Visual Studio will generate the code for our grid view. Again, we'll select the grid view. We'll go to properties and make the width 
100%. And let's run this. And here you go. You have an HTML CSS template converted to an ASP.NET master page.